What's up ballers? Crazy B Ball here. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about investing because as it goes on, you realize more and more things. So with this Scream team being out and them going to be Beast, it's kind of hard to predict. Either people are going to be like, oh, when they're Beast, everyone's going to want to buy it. So I'm going to stock up now and then sell it when they're Beast. And then the price will go down because everybody's selling. Or the opposite will happen to where everybody wants them because they're so high rated. It's kind of hard to predict that. That's why I'm kind of just going to chill with the screen team. Because I can either invest now and possibly make money or possibly lose money. Or I can wait and just don't buy them when they're big if they're expensive. Or I can just buy them when they're, exp or when they're not expensive because a lot of people are selling them. So that way is kind of a win-draw. There's no real lose on that situation. Except, obviously, you missed out on the chance for stuff. But, when the big boys are out, everybody's going to want a big boy. And that's kind of my theory. A lot of big boys are going to be on the market. People are going to be putting their coins into the big boys. Why'd I go here? So, this means that the team of the week is kind of going to be disregarded. Because, like, when they pack a team of the week player, some people might be happy, like us normal people, but especially big people and YouTubers, and be like, oh dang, I packed these crappy guys, oh I packed Isco again, oh blah 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 blah, these guys suck. It's like, oh I want to pack them, but you guys pack them all. So pretty much, like Rafinha, he's going to be a good investment, he's already getting pretty cheap, he was under 20k last night, yeah, 15.5. So a lot of these players are going to be cheap when the big boys are out. If there are any packs, 50k or 100k packs, that's when you want to snipe these guys. Because people are going to just list them up for discard. Or you want to bid, because people are just going to list them up for their minimum bid. And not really care. So that's kind of what my thoughts are so far on the matter. Scream team, bit of a risky investment. But if you want to, I'd say invest as soon as possible. Because if they are going to rise, that means right before they get big, people are going to buy them. So they're going to be expensive. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my stance on this is I'm going to wait till the big boys are out or the big packs are out. Or uh, with this team of the week, since uh, they're not going to be out when they turn big boys now that I think about it, buy the 10k investments, maybe buy Carrasco or Welbeck or Walcott, my bad. I'm not ready to say it. Rafinha is definitely a good one. I think Rafinha is going to be a good investment. Except that he doesn't have pace, but I still think people will like him anyways. If you want to go for pace, then Braithwaite's definitely a good investment. But any of these guys, if you can get for 10k or 12k, that's going to be good. I'll make my actual investing video when t the time comes, which might be tomorrow. I'm not too sure. It just depends on the market. But I hope you guys have a great day, and hope you learned a little bit. See ya.